This is an ultraviolet GU uh, GU10 lamp, um, and it's quite nice. It, it's it's supposed to be rated three watts, but it measured at just over four watts, and the output is typical near ultraviolet. It's that sort of purpley, visible purple glow. It's not invisible by any stretch of imagination. It's not like black light, but it does activate um, ultraviolet colours very well. So let's take a look at this. It's a different style from many of the other lamps for various reasons. So I'll unscrew these. I've not actually had this one open from the front yet. The screws are quite long, but they go into... Oh, all the lenses are just loose. But they go into... I can't even see where they went in now. It's, they just go into the existing... in between the fins of the um, heat sink, which is quite an attractive heat sink. It's not the normal style. So there's a circuit board in the back, which is quite loose and slides about, with the three ultraviolet LEDs wired in series. Now, unusually, uh, the back on this one unscrews, because most of the time it's, um, the back is held on by screws in the front. But in this case it unscrews to reveal a seemingly common arrangement. But this one's actually wrapped in tape, which is quite nice. And inside is a typical... Ooh. Yeah, they've wrapped that back onto itself, which doesn't help. Yeah, it's a very typical supply. Oh, lots of uh, Captain-style tape. Oh, that's just not coming off now. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, very standard uh, little PCB that seems to be a common choice for um, these 3 watt style lamps, although this one is slightly higher rated. Um, I've not actually looked at the chip in this one yet, so let's take a look. Activate the microscope. If I can get close enough to it. And bring it in focus at that depth, which is possibly not going to happen. Oh, nope, here we go, here we go. It's a BP... BP 9N OO. That's a new one in me. BP 9N OO. Then it's got 13120C, which is probably a date code. BP 9N OO. I'm going to note that down. going to look that up, although to be honest I've not had much luck finding, it's a company called BP Semiconductor that uh, makes all these chips but they're really just aimed at the Chinese market, they, they don't seem to make the data sheets in English they taunt you, they put links up for English data sheets but there's nothing there but um, I'll, I'll take a look at that, maybe that's an extended chip for a higher power lamp, not 100% sure, but the circuitry, the whole layout is the same, uh, the transformer still just got to uh, <coughs> a single primary and a single secondary. Uh, the electrolytic capacitor is rated 4.7 megafarad, 400 volt. It's all pretty common circuitry. Yeah, uh, it's a common power supply. Yeah, It's quite unusual in a way that they've um, wrapped that in tape because some of the other lights I've taken apart recently just have it pushed down inside this plastic housing as the insulation, so that's almost like a, a second layer of defence. Um, but quite 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 a neat lamp actually. I quite like this one. I like the output as well. Yes, another good eBay find.